Hey, welcome back to Trigger and Liver. Now we got to uh, strap it down. Do one right here. Okay, I've never really talked about this, but on the strap right here, when you got it over the rub rail, there is a lip right here, you can put it right here, but if this is all you have, this is really just pulled on that strap. What you can do is, now, when you pull down on it, you pull down on the actual hook of that strap. And then you just do like so. Thank you. 
Okay, we got four bundles on the back. I'm gonna go ahead with three straps to get more over 15,000 pounds of curement. What I don't believe that's on there, but the way this is uh, set up, like I said before, sometimes these boards are, will shift out of the out of their bundle. So to to stop that, we want to make sure we have three bundles. We have curment pulling this way, and one almost in the middle. So that's why for three on the on the back. Even though we can't go back further, we're limited because there's stock that so you won't have your winch over the uh, the tire. Same for back here. See, we're gonna have to have one right there. What do you do? You know, you you don't have any way to put a strap right there without having to have an issue with that. So we'll go ahead and put this one over. Okay, we'll go ahead and set our strap on the other side. Okay. See what I'm saying here? We got one, two, and three. Because there's four bumps. Limited. <coughs> I'll probably go back. 
had to, you could come over here, you could use a portable. Cinch up all our other straps. We got two more on this side. Now, what you notice what happened here. Okay, I got that bundle on the bottom, I got that bundle on the top. I got that sitting on a block, so that's going to secure that right there, plus one on the top, plus the one in the center. And then I just got the two on the top. If you wanted to, you could put a strap right there on that one on the bottom, and then have enough on the top. But seeing that I got three, that's enough securement for that. Now we'll switch up this one. That was secure on this side. Sorry, it's pretty loud on the ears. <laughs> no, that's that squealing of that strap. Too. I want to show you something. You see that 5,400 pounds up there? Okay. If you have enough strength to make that strap exceed that limit, then you're going to have to have chains. 
because that would be way too much uh, weight. The weight of that is how much securement this will hold forward, sideways, and all. You're never going to strap down to that much weight. If that's the case, then you have a load that's got to have a completely different kind of securement, or you got to have multiple straps to equal that. So remember, it's eight every eight foot on the load. Then you want to have a two foot securement from the first strap back, and then every eight feet to equal the weight that you have. But this is different bundles, so it's going to be a different weight. It's going to be a less weight. You're not going to have a full 45,000 pounds. You're strapping the weight of the bundle that's on the that's on the load right here. So, if that makes sense. Okay, last one. And this will be our final strap we strap down right here. Uh, we got about 20,000 pounds of securement on probably about 10,000 pounds uh, of lumber. And we did that for the forward movement because of the bundles. Well, that's a pretty thick walnut right there. As you can see, I couldn't go any further back on that center strap because of the stops all over the tires. But each bundle has its own securement. Each bundle has its own securement. Okay, thank you for watching Truck and Deliver. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you down the road. Thanks again for watching Truck and Deliver.